Hello and welcome back to the Real Cello Studios as we're on our way to a beautiful and functional bow hold. Um, so coming back to our points of contact, we're bringing this to the bow. You may still be at the balance point, which is fine. Just keep in mind if we have that first knuckle contact, it's really on the front of the bow so that when we settle and place the thumb on, it's really between the first and second knuckle that I'm making contact here and and uh, I'm similar in the pinky so if I were on the top that's the middle of uh, that that those two knuckles and if we work our way back if you've done this and are back at the frog just want to check in there's different approaches to this every hand is different um, my pinky falls on the dot and my second finger is kind of on the, the silver there, and my first finger is long enough that it'll contact the hair, uh, and that's fine. Some people might be in a different place. The most important aspect of this is the thumb is right up against that frog there. So as you've made it all the way back to the, to the frog, that's where we want to be. And we're going to bring this to the cello. So here we are, we find our comfortable bow hold, as comfortable as possible, and we want to remember our exercise, tap, tap, and we're going to bring this to the windshield wiper. So we want to be able to lift the bow off the string and keep the structure in our hand, and that's going to be happening by lifting with the pinky a little bit so if I don't resist with my pinky the hand is gonna fall like that so we want to pick the bow up with the pinky and really those three points of contact are like a, a tripod of fulcrums that can have control over the bow so the middle fingers are just resting and uh, your fingers aren't super close together and also not really wide it's really just like as if your hand is hanging naturally. There's a little bit of space between the fingers. So the windshield wiper. Then the other side of that is you place the bow in the middle or at the balance point, somewhere in here. And as if you're turning a doorknob, you want to engage the pointer finger and the thumb. And the stick of the bow should be pushed down toward the hair and even all the way to the string. So it's like doorknob and the other side is the pinky windshield wiper. You can make this an exercise. So you're pushing the bow to the string, the stick down to the string, and picking up. So we have this. And as we're coming back to the string, we want to aim for the sweet spot, which is really just on the other side of the fingerboard uh, from my perspective so not too close to the bridge not over the fingerboard 